Hello, thank you for joining us today. Uh, this is Catherine and Tanya. Uh, today we are doing a reading for um, Virgo, and this is for uh, the month of September. Virgo, let's see what you've got going on. There's been quite a bit of purging happening today. Today is September the 9th, so it is a portal activation day. Um, and there's been a lot of purging along with some pretty strong spikes that happened in the um, Schumann Resonance today. So uh, let's see what you've got going on, Virgo. You know, the last few days have actually been pretty treacherous. So this yes. is this is take two. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the cards that came out earlier. The two of autumn and the ten of autumn. Yes. Or the two of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Yes. And this is you're juggling... You're juggling a lot of things. You're juggling family and, and work, but... And finances. You're doing it well. You're, you're multitasking, um, but you're quite good at it. Yes. So, <clears throat> that is your current energy. Right. And you've toughened Ogo. up, Virgo, yeah. uh, since the last uh, month, and um, good for you. So, we got numbers from the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed We have... Mountain, number six, and that is meaning the path of least resistance. So, you can see it has the picture of the mountain there, the face that yes. is looking like a mountain. Yes. Um, it may seem like that it's, it's something that is standing in the way of your success, um, you'll like you'll have to go through it or over it, but that's not the case. You can flow easily right around it. Um, with the path, going with the flow on the path of least resistance. Right. Then we also have number 17, Ghost Lambs. To make, mm. see what this one is about, because I don't quite remember. You can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. So, yeah, Ghost Lambs. Don't get trapped in the, in the past. Don't set your sights too far ahead. Um, and don't, you know, don't live, don't live in the past. Yeah. You have to live in the present. Right. Always, always, always. Right. So let's see what Virgo has going on for in the romance department. Ugh, codependency. <gasps> oh. No, no. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah. Why? But... Mm-hmm. It's telling you to make the effort. Your great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take. So, is this codependency? Is this an addiction? Or is this codependent on a person? Like a spouse, marriage partner? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what they got going on here. It also says heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You got the eight of wands. There's a need to communicate. What is it that you need to talk about? Hmm. Virgo is all about their pentacles this month. Money. Money. Yeah. All about the pentacles. Mm-hmm. So what is this codependency? Tell me about this codependency. And Spirit is asking you to end a cycle. Mm. End Very a cycle good. of codependency. And that's what this is, the world? That is what that is. Oh, wow. So, yes. Yeah. There's something you're going to have to walk away from. Mm. Mm. It's got to be done, honey. Yep, there's something that you're going to have to leave behind. Right. A people, people, uh, you know, job, a thing. Places, homes. But the will of fortune is turning in your favor. Absolutely, very good. There's the will of fortune right there. You have very to be good. open to giving and receiving. Right, you do. So it has there's to be a balance. Yeah, this this connection that you're currently in, there's a lack of balance here. Mm -hmm. There's a lack of balance. Mm -hmm. 
and it's either, you know, you're spending too much time trying to earn your pinnacles and you're not spending enough time with family. I think that's what really what the juggling is. It's like, yeah, you're very good at it, but you know, the, the relationships are, are suffering mm -hmm. because of this. Two of Wands. You need to pick a path. Gotcha. You gotta pick a path. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you getting for Virgo? In addition well, Virgo's tough it up. Um, that was the, the message that I received from the very beginning. Um, this isn't your first rodeo, Virgo. So you know what to do, and now you are, um, and now you are um, acting on it, and good for you. But as you are ascending and acting on it and toughening up, um, the challenges may seem like they're a bit greater, but actually they're not. You're seeing them from a different perspective now. Um, things that you need to take care of, you know, dotting your I's and crossing your T's. Um, but you're good for it, Virgo, as long as you don't turn around, you know, and look back and then start the, oh, well, this is me. As long as you don't do that, then you're good. You're good. There's a lot of internal conflict going on, too, with Virgo. Oh, well, that's, yes, yes. And it's over this, this connection, this soulmate mm -hmm. connection, this two of cups and a brand new beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, don't block yourself. You're good at doing that too, Virgo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Archangel Michael has to say about this. This little situation here. <clears throat> For Virgo. Uh oh. Right. Okay. Admit the truth and act accordingly. Mm -hmm. What has Virgo got going on? <laughs> That's what I want exactly. to know. Exactly. Like, Look, with what the toughening you... up that you're doing um, and getting things done now, just don't forget. Um, um, don't forget the, the family around you that has helped you get there. Um is what I'm hearing as well, family and friends. Um, as you toughen up, you're easy to cut yourself off as well. So try not to be in your ego too much, Virgo. Let's see, okay. I'm trying to figure out, okay, so Virgo's partner is Five of Pentacles. Mm. They are feeling left out in the cold. Virgo, what are you doing? Why aren't you talking to your partner? You have to have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations and right. either either make things right and, you know, we keep getting, make the effort, either make things right or leave the relationship and go be with the person that you were meant to be with if, right. that, if you're not with that person now. Right, if that's applying to you. Right. Or if not, oh, yeah. I can he be, I'm hearing that it's, um, you know, and if you are with your forever partner um, and you're working on something together, um, work on it together. Don't uh, try and just take charge and know what to do on your own. Um, a marriage or a relationship, it's a partnership as well, and you've got to respect that other person. Yeah, there's a lot of twos coming up in this reading. Mm -hmm. We have the, the two of pentacles, we have the two of wands, and now we have the two of cups. Right. And now we have the lovers. Uh -huh. So, either you or your partner has a choice mm -hmm. between two people. Could go either way so let's just see if we can get any more information from this mm -hmm. i don't know somebody's feeling somebody's gonna be left out in the cold 
It just, and it looks like it's going to be partner of Virgo. Mm. Star's card. Ooh, detached detach from the drama. Detached from the drama. For the power of joy. Yeah. Absolutely. That's where that conflict is coming from. Right, right. If you know that you are supposed to be, meant to be, feel like you want to be with somebody else, then you need to go be with somebody else and not stay in a partnership, in a situation um, that's not going to go anywhere. You're going to have to have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Right. You know, there, there's a level of codependency in your current partnership or with your person um, that needs to be addressed. It's like, are you staying because you're afraid to leave? Mm -hmm. Because you have a, you know, you have a dependency on this other person and you don't know how the, you know, the new one is going to turn out. Well, take that leap of faith. Absolutely. Take that leap of faith because, you know, you're, you're clearly not exactly happy where you're at or you wouldn't be, um, with all this, this mental conflict and drama and, you know, the, the other person feeling left out in the cold. Forgiveness heals. Wow. That was this one. Forgiveness heals. Um, you know, you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive the other person. And you have to move on at some point. And then this one. This is my onion card. Multifaceted. <laughs> there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. Wow. This is titanium rainbow quartz. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. Yes. So, you you're go. on the right path. Yeah. Um, you have the strength. You're just going to have to walk away from those things that no longer serve you. And that's that's, true. that's really what's been going on a lot. Um, right. You know, we, we've been purging a lot. Like, a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. And it's yes. like um, things that you thought you know you had dealt with and they keep coming back right and they keep coming back stronger mm -hmm. because you mm -hmm. keep pushing them under the surface true um thinking that it'll be okay or they're gonna go away and they don't they come back stronger and harder right and more painfully so right. um best deal with these things now <laughs> before you know before it if spirit has to force the situation it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot worse than if you deal with things yourself. That's right, because if, it'll be abrupt. Yeah, if if spirit really has to do something to get your attention because you're not wanting to deal with something, it it's just not gonna be good. Mm -mm. It never is. I've been through it a million times, and it never gets any easier. I finally learned. <laughs> um, yeah. I finally learned I'm to so be non-resistant. As much as possible, I try. I practice it every day. It works most of the time. <laughs> you know, I mean, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, we're all human. We're all here to learn and to grow, evolve and ascend. Sure. So, what are the soul lessons for Virgo for this month of September? Peace. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. Very good. That's a beautiful yeah, part. Yeah, you have to right detach. There, you do. You have to detach. You just have yes, to. Yes, you do. Um, you know, if you've been in a relationship for a while or a connection for a while, it's hard. It's just hard. You know, I mean, right. it is what it is what it is. Right. And even when it's for the best... Um, it's still painful. It's still hurtful. There's still, uh, you know, there's still negative cords that need to be cut really um, on a daily basis. Right. You know, and then for those of y'all that are, are, like I was saying before, that are in your, um, you know, that are in a good partnership um, but are just going through some things right now, don't shut your partner out things that are happening around you are happening to the both of you so do it together 
yeah there there's um of course this is a general reading so right it'll be different it'll be a little different for everybody right you take from um, it what resonates with you and if right not, then and not. so if you're already in if right. you're already in a good connection a good soulmate yeah. connection um that you're happy with right. then there's just some growing pains yeah. happening right now then the problem is you know your partner's feeling left out in the cold right your partner um you're spending too much time trying to earn your pinnacles and you know the or relationship care of whatever's happening right and the relationship is um it's suffering a little bit right you know and that's why this keeps coming up over and over and over mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. But the longer you wait to deal with it, mm -hmm. the more disconnected that you will become. Right. And mm -hmm. then instead of being able to work on your relationship and, and save it and make it, you know, yeah. beautiful and strong again, then you're just, you're just going to be left with the eight of cups. And that's, you know, you'll have to, you'll end up having to walk away. Right. And this one. And when perhaps you, you won't... Um, you know, there's no, there's no need for that. The will of fortune is like, for, um, you know, everything is in your favor right now. Yeah. Everything is in your favor. Just don't ignore your partner because right. they're feeling it. <laughs> right. You know, there, there should be an even flow. And with the six of pentacles, there's not, mm. there's something that's out of balance that needs yeah. to be addressed. Yeah. So let's see. Oh. Okay, so we got willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. So whatever it is that you are you're you're going through, um, compromise. Talk to and work with your partner mm -hmm. because it will be worth it. Yes, you know, and yeah. and if there is another person or you know another connection that you want to explore, then Pursue. yeah. Um, you know, eight of cups, the one that you're with now before you do it, because, That's you true. know, that, that person, you know, they need to move on too. they need to find their happiness too. Or they're two exactly. of cups too. Exactly. And if you're staying with somebody out of codependency, then, you know, is you're not doing yourself or them any good. It's, it'll just be more painful in the end. True. So... Do you have? Is there anything? No, that's about it. That's it's really a good. It. It's really a good reading. Look, it is. If you're in a partnership, it's like right. this is not bad. This is mm -mm. like anything but bad. Mm -mm. Um. You know, we all need to work on our partnerships, our connections from time to time. Absolutely. No one is perfect. Right. So for September, it's like the wheels turning in your favor. Everything is. Um, everything's going good for you. You know, you just need to pay a little bit more attention to to your person. Yes, you do. Make sure you protect your energy. Detach from the drama, shield your energy, and mm -hmm. you'll be good. And then we will check on you again uh -huh. in October. All right, sounds good. Have a good month. And uh, reach us. Our information is below. If uh, you would like a private reading, um, you would like to explore um, a quantum chakra regression, um, go ahead and email us or uh, reach us on our website um, at twinflamemystique1111.com and twinflamemystique1111 at gmail. Sorry about that. We had a little, yes. we have dogs running around and everything going <laughs> yeah. on. Everybody's just yes. running amok. And yeah, so please like and subscribe yes. if you feel called to do so. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a blessed evening or day wherever you're at.